All right, so in this video, I have a pair of Adidas Ultra Boost 21s, but this is gonna be my favorite pair of Adidas Ultra Boost 21s to release. It's a little bit different than the standard one, and previously, I think I did a video close to the same title. This was my favorite because it was a triple black colorway, and it was really, really clean and simple, and I really liked what they had to offer with that one, but this one definitely takes a cake for myself. Definitely a sleeper pair available on Adidas' website for those people that are looking. Uh, check the link in the description, but this is cool, man. This is a new uh, version of the Adidas Ultra Boost 21. This is a parlay for the Oceans version of the uh, Adidas Ultra Boost, which is a name that is pretty much synonymous with the Adidas Ultra Boost because they've been releasing many, many pairs and many different versions of Adidas Ultra Boost with parlay for the Oceans. But this one has the co-branding on the box and um, the partnership between the two is definitely something uh, that is noteworthy. This says it's Ultra Boost 21 X parlay or parley, I, I still don't know how to say the name uh, 7,000 years later. Correct me in the comment section, parlay or parley? Uh, anyway, this says it's the non-dyed colorway, non-dyed colorway. So they definitely are promoting the fact that this is just kind of a non-dyed colorway as it says on the box. However, it is obviously white or an off-white sort of look to it. And um, the upper is where things are significantly different than any of the other Ultra Boosts that have released so far. But this one is phenomenal to me. I love the look of it. It's different because it's not just a primate upper with uh, like the attached tongue at the top. They actually detach the tongue at the very top, which I personally love. It's definitely a preference for myself. Uh, but the upper is not primate and it's not recycled polyester primate. It is done in a different manner, which is kind of significant because when you think about Parley for the Oceans and Adidas Ultra Boost, you think about the prime knit material that is used, that is basically using no virgin polyester in creating the uppers of the, um, the prime knit. And now the upper is not even made of prime knit. It's made of this other crazy material that kind of honestly feels like a firmer version of like a neoprene. It's not very stretchy though, but uh, the look of it is really cool. And then you do have some fused like Parley plastic overlay over top of the toe box of the shoe and it comes down to the side as well with a little bit of a, a radial like circle right here on both sides. That fused material right here is like a perfect placement over top of a couple different uh, layers that are added on and then it probably just holds it there but it also aesthetically it looks really cool. Then you do also have some fused material around the laces and then you actually have a large lace that goes through and is weaved through the upper to lock down the actual laces of the shoe. So I like that they use kind of a fat lace to be a, the lockdown of the shoe. Kind of clever and it looks cool. You also do have some reinforcement right here, some like nylon reinforcement. And then also something that I really like is the top of the liner right here. It's Instead of doing a raw edge, a liner it's actually um, band together with some uh, some string which it looks cool actually usually we're used to that raw edge but again it looks really cool that they use a little bit of a different element there there's also a pull tab on the top of the tongue here that says Adidas and Parlay and then also there is a, a back tab here that you can kind of hold it from uh, also it's kind of a cool little utility uh, strap right here it has like a little metal grommet through it as well which is kind of cool uh, but that is there and then you do have a tag that sticks out the back and that says Adidas and Parlay as well. And on the other side, it says for the oceans. You have a plastic heel cup on this one that comes around, it says Ultra Boost right here, but uh, this is in a black material. Then the other black material on the shoe is on the tread. So you have the Continental Rubber uh, done very minimally on this shoe, but I love the placement of the, uh, the traction on these shoes. Like it really looks cool. Like for the black one, you can see it's a little bit smoked out here and there, but you have different uh, sections of the shoe and it's like one, two, three, four, it's like at least four different sections of tread that they like uh, adhere on to the boost, but it looks really cool. And then you also do have the LEP system, that little extra push that I say that is also prominent on the bottom of the shoe, but in this pair, it's actually clear. But I like that it's kind of like a seamless integration on the bottom of the shoe. I also like that you do have uh, the blue material that kind of just sticks out the sides a little bit uh, from the, the traction of the shoe. So it's like the one little color pop on the shoe that brings that little blue out. And for sure you could see it from the side when you're stepping, but from the bottom obviously it's a lot more uh, prominent. And also there is a label on the inside of the tongue that says made using plastic waste that has been intercepted from remote islands, beaches, and coastal communities and shorelines. Uh, with the three stripes behind it. So I like that the upper and stuff is made using plastic waste. Honestly, I have no idea how it would have been possible with this type of material. If this is like a new parlay material, I don't know. Let me um, research it a little bit and see what it says. So in the heel of the shoe, it actually has a little scan thing that you can use your camera and then you can view it. So inside of that, it says one person, one company, one country. None of that is enough to save our oceans. To create true change, we need action from everyone, everywhere, 
Run for the Oceans was set up to harness the power of sport as a catalyst to inspire positive action, but this was only the start of a bigger movement. And then there's more information about Adidas Parlay uh, on here that is definitely worth looking at uh, for those people that haven't seen. And they make materials for shorts and shirts and everything else as well. So if you guys want to buy a pair of these, check the link in the description. Again, they are $200 uh, at retail and they do have them in pretty much a full size run right now. Some of the highlights that it says about these sneakers and plastic waste. This product features Parlay Ocean Plastic, upcycled plastic waste intercepted from remote islands, beaches, coastal communities, and shorelines, preventing it from polluting our oceans. 50% of the upper is textile, 75% of that textile is prime blue yarn, no virgin polyester. 75% of this is, I don't even know how they created it, it's so different looking than any other knit that we've seen. Color with care, this product is colored using more sustainable technology to cause less harm. Forged from Adidas Prime Knit. It also says ultra responsive running shoes made with recycled materials, say hello to the ultimate energy return. The Adidas Ultra Boost 21X Parlay shoes give you more responsiveness in a design that keeps the planet in mind. The upper combines mesh, woven materials, and ripstop, all sourced from Parley Ocean Plastic. The design invokes the protective look of military gear, a visual representation of our need to protect the oceans. The weight is 10.9 ounces on these. So for those that didn't know, the Ultra Boost 21, as well as many of the DNA Ultra Boost, all contain that prime blue material, and usually you see it on the line of the shoe. That lets you know that they use a lot of recycled materials and no virgin polyester, which means that there's a lot of recycled content in the uppers of the shoe. And in my opinion, Adidas is probably the biggest company to be able to offer something like that in such a, an impressive way that other companies are, are definitely far behind on because the recycled materials are pretty seamlessly integrated within their products to the point where you don't notice on feet as it being recycled material. It's made really well, but also the fact that there is um, a positive green side to it is obviously always a plus. I personally am one of those people that love the look of the Adidas Ultra Boost 21. So now that you have a detached tongue that kind of sits at the top and that color being a little bit of like the off-white sort of look with a lot of different layers to the upper instead of just being a knit upper, it's basically everything that I want in a pair of sneakers. Of course, I do like my Ultra Boost and the Ultra Boost DNAs that have the knit uppers and everything else like that. Uh, but I always like the idea of using the cushioning of the Ultra Boost and also having more of a lifestyle version that has layers and has like the tongue, as I mentioned over and over again, and just a lot of details that show that this is just more than a regular pair of sneakers. This definitely looks like a collab. And in my opinion, it's the best one to come out. This is actually a pair that I really wanted to pick up, but big shout out to Adidas for sending this pair over because it's definitely one that I wanted to get. And what better way to actually get a pair of these in hand than from the source directly. So much appreciated to Adidas. And to you guys watching the videos, if you guys do like the videos, drop a like on the video and let them know that you guys appreciate the content because that is always uh, powerful as well. Your, your thumbs up and your interaction on the video is as powerful as it gets for like a creator like myself. So it is much appreciated. But what do you guys think about the Adidas Ultra Boost 21 Parlay collaboration? I think it, it's done so well. Uh, and I love the fact that they changed the upper in a way where it's just perfect for my feet. I have zero negative things to say about this collaboration. The only thing that I wish is that they had other colorways potentially available, but since they're not using any dye, uh, I, I mean, this is a really, really dope one. Maybe they could use the difference on the rubber and change it from blue to something else. But I do like the little minimal accents of the shoe to just to give it that little bit of pop. Blue is very fitting, obviously, for the ocean. So uh, I definitely like that. And then the black on the back, I like that they did a little bit something different as well. They could have just done white, but they did uh, the smoked out one instead, and, and it looks cool. But that's my thoughts. Go ahead and cop a pair if you guys are interested in the description of the video. Uh, much appreciated for you guys to stop by and watch the video. Have a good rest of the day, and hopefully we'll see you guys back here for some more sneaker content very soon. All right, peace, guys.